As part of an advanced higher chemistry project, a student determined the chloride ion concentration of seawater by two different methods. You have a volumetric method, where a sample of seawater was titrated with standard silver nitrate solution, and a gravimetric method, so we're going to have to have something to weigh. A sample of seawater was reacted with the silver nitrate solution to form a precipitate. The precipitate was collected by filtration and weighed. Okay, so there's our two different forms that we could do it. E. For the volumetric method, a 0.1 molar standard solution of silver nitrate was prepared by following the instructions below. So you're given three instructions. First, you dry 5 grams of silver nitrate for two hours at 100 degrees C and allow to cool. That's going to get rid of any water weight. That's really important if you're going to make a standard solution. For two, weigh accurately approximately 4.25 grams of solid silver nitrate, and then three, use this sample to prepare 250 centimetres cubed of standard silver nitrate solution. Okay, so for part one, state what is meant by weigh accurately approximately 4.25 grams of solid silver nitrate. So what we're looking for here is accurately means that we have to get it within a good level of accuracy for this. So this is 4.25 grams. So what you're going to do is use a top pan balance that goes to 0 0.01 and we are going to weigh to that. So you're going to note down exactly what you've got and approximately means around about. So if you got 4.25 grams, that's fine. If you got 4.26 grams, that's also fine. You just need to log the fact it's 2.26 it's rather than 2.5. Okay. So it's a known mass that is known very accurately around about 4.25 grams. Outline how the student would have prepared the, the standard silver nitrate solution. So you can see here I have just pulled the mark scheme for this because frankly you could do worse than just knowing that mark scheme. I'm just going to, sorry, get rid of the bit where I'd drawn all over it. Okay, right. So for one mark, they've said dissolve or make a solution of the silver nitrate in distilled or deionized water in a beaker and transfer the solution and the rinsings to the standard volumetric flask. And then you make it up to the graduation mark and that's you. Okay, so you did this from like nat 5 upwards. So your standard flasks are normally round bottom flask with a graduation mark kind of, oh, that's terrible. Let me clean that up a little bit. With a graduation mark on the, on the actual stem of the flask and then up the top we have space for you to put the bung in. Okay, so all you're doing is taking your beaker with whatever sample you're using, known mass, add in water, mix all this up, transfer it in, rinse it so there's all of this, absolutely all of this goes in and then you make up to the mark with deionized water. And when you're making up to the mark, if you want to be kind of clear about this, you would be, if this is your mark here, remember we are measuring to the bottom of the meniscus of the liquid. So we're measuring to this point here, being clean. Okay. Um, but as I say, I would frankly think that this is a very, very good one to memorize for doing a standard solution. Okay, part three. Samples of the diluted seawater were titrated and the average titer was found to be 3.9 centimetres cubed. Suggest an improvement the student could make to reduce the uncertainty in the titer value. So your problem here, and the one that you should recognise, is that it's less than 5 centimetres cubed. If you have anything that's that small, you have a major problem with basically every drop that you've got, every drip that you get at the base of the of the burette is a huge error in comparison to that size. So what you need to do is to try and get this a bit bigger than five um, centimetres cubed. So what we normally do at this um, would be, well there's lots of ways around you could do it, but in this case all we want to do is basically make the silver nitrate less concentrated, okay, so we can dilute that, or we could go for a larger volume of the seawater, that would work, or we could dilute this less, okay, so all of that would give you a way to make this a larger sample size. Okay, for gravimetric, uh, standard silver nitrate was added to a seawater sample to form a precipitate. 
Describe how the filtration should have been carried out to ensure a fast means of separating the precipitate from the reaction mixture. It's this bit that matters. Okay. If you want to make filtration fast, you basically use vacuum. So what you would have is a Buchner flask with your filter attached to it and your side arm here, which is going to, however you're doing your, your vacuum, normally it's just water coming past here to create the vacuum. And we would have our um, filter placed on the top of here and there's your filtrate coming through and your precipitate would be left at the top. Okay, you're not going to get it for just stating the word Buchner. They're very clear about that in the mark scheme. Um, so if you just said use a Buchner funnel, that's not going to get it. But if you said, if you show the setup or you say under vacuum, that would get the mark. Okay, after the precipitate was filtered, the filtrate was tested with a few drops of silver nitrate. Suggest why they did that. So they've set this up and they've used the silver chloride and then they've filtered it off. But what you've got down here is the remaining water okay the remaining seawater hopefully with all of the chloride out of it but really what you want to do is just check so what you're doing is checking that there's no further reaction so you're checking that the reaction is complete okay, and that's it and then the last question of this it says the student also carried out an analysis of chloride ion concentration in fresh river water explain why volumetric rather than gravimetric would be more appropriate for the analysis of chloride ion concentration in fresh river water well, basically, you have to recognise that fresh river water is going to be less salty than seawater. Would we agree? So if that's the case, then you're going to have less chloride ions. So if I've got less chloride ions, I need something that can be more sensitive. Volumetric is going to be much more sensitive than gravimetric, and gravimetric would struggle to actually get enough mass to weigh. So really, it's just going to be volumetric is better at low concentrations. And that's the question.